Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm here with a really interesting video about land chain. So without wasting any time further, let's get started. So first of all guys, uh, for those who do not know what is lang chain and who have got no idea about large language model, I am not going to start with these tough terms guys. I'm going to start with something which I know all of you must know about because it's it has been a rage in the tech industry and that is chat GPT. Okay. Now I'm sure you all, I all have uh, experience with chat with GPT now, you must have explored it. But if you have not, first let's understand what is chat GPT, right? Now chat GPT, as you can see, is nothing but a chat bot, right? So if I just say, hi, how are you? It is going to actually formulate an ex uh, a response and it is giving to us, right? Now, actually you can use chat GPT, like people started comparing chat GPT with Google as well, because you can, whatever questions you ask Google, you can ask chat GPT the similar questions. So for example, I can say that, um, what is the capital of India, right? So if I just ask uh, this question from chat GPT, you can see that it is giving me the answer, right? And you can ask the same question to Google also, and the Google will also give you the answer, right? But there's a difference. So if I just take the same question and I put it in Google, you will see what's going to happen. That it does give me the answer, but along with that, it gives me like, you know, a lot of links where I can read about the capital, where I can, you know, see the history and all these things, right? But that's not what ChatGPT is doing. Chat GPT is like a chatbot. So if you just ask a straight question, it is going to give you a straight straight answer right it's like humans so let's say if you uh, let's say if you're chatting with a person you just ask them a question like what is the capital of uh, england what is the capital of india they're just going to give you a you know a, just a normal response like a human like response and that's the term here guys that chat gpt is not something like google which is giving you documents all those references it's actually giving you a human like response and that is something which makes it very unique because what ChatGPT is doing, that is not just searching for data and providing you the response. It is actually formulating a human-like response. It's, it's generating a human-like sentence, which is actually uh, a new term in our artificial intelligence world that's called as generative AI. So ChatGPT is actually using generative AI to generate a human-like response and presenting it to her. There is one more unique thing about ChatGPT, guys, that you cannot just ask it like straight away question answer question. You can actually ask ChatGPT absolute random things and it is going to generate the answer for you. So, for example, if I just say ChatGPT, write me a story about a forest adventure, right? So, this is such a random question, guys. And you can see that it starts generating the response, a human-like response, and it starts typing it, and it starts giving it to us, right? Now, how is it doing it? It is so amazing, but how is it that ChatGPT is even able to understand a random question and generate a response for us? And that is where a term comes into picture that's called as large language model. So guys, those of you who are aware about machine learning know something about a neural network, okay? Now, if I just Google neural network for you, you will uh, have an image which is something like this, right? So, something like this. So basically, guys, it's like a mesh of nodes. It's like a mesh of nodes where you have got all those parameters, all those data that you are using to train your machine learning model. And apparently, guys, Chat GPT is based upon this machine learning model, which is called as GPT-4. It is a large language model that has been trained on around trillion, like 170 trillion parameters. Uh, we still don't know the exact number, but that is what the speculation is, that it has been trained on such an enormous amount of data set that now it is even able to understand these random questions and generate random response you know, just join the context of the data it has trained on, match it with the context of our question and generate a response and give it to us, okay? That is the power of large language models, 
okay and i just told you that one of the large language model uh, not not one of the large language model the, the model which is being used in gpt uh, chat gpt is gpt4 but guys now you must be thinking that oh my god this is so amazing right gpt4 uh, large language model can create such a powerful chatbot can i use this large language model to create my own application can i do that now there is there is a certain term of difference here guys let's say if you ask this uh, gpt4 a question like you know write a random story or uh, you know like uh, give me the name of company which sells apples or something like this right some some random things it is going to give you a random response but what if you don't want a random response what if you don't want a response that has been taken from some open source material that has been trained over some open source material because gpt4 is trained on open source material right but you don't want that you want that this large language model should understand your query but it should give you the response based upon your own private database so let's say i have a certain database in some um, in some machine somewhere i don't want my large language model to give me a random response or generate me a random response over some open source data i want that it should take the response from my own private database can i do that and the answer is yes and here comes the most interesting thing which is called as lang chain so guys lang chain is a framework which has been provided to us to develop applications powered by lang large language models okay so what you can do here is that you can create your own application like chat gpt but in your own application you can decide which database you want to query it which microservices you want to query it and how you want that query to be handled the only thing is that you will be using a large language model for something like something like gpt4 or gpt3 you will be using a model like that to understand your query okay to understand the context of your query in this way guys you can create your own chatbot which is going to take your human like query and give you a human like response based upon your own data right now here are certain terms which have been written here right that lang chain is uh, you know it is enabling the application that are data aware and that are uh, agentic right now what does data aware means so basically data aware is same thing which i just said you guys that lang chain allows you to create your application which is having your own data and connected to large language model you know fetch that data fetch your own data through a large language model and agentic basically means that it allows a large language model to interact with its environment now let's talk about the environment of an application what is this application is made up of it is made up of a database obviously it is made up of microservices you know the rest web services and it is based upon a ui right so this large language model that we are using we can use that large language model to call our own rest apis to call our own database so all these things which are part of the environment lang chain allow us to interact with them okay and that is how actually you will you are able to fetch your own data so that is the power of lang chain now this leads us to the main values that lang chain is going to add now the main values is components and of the shelf chain what are components okay now i don't want to go into too much theory because we will see this in uh, our practical uh, session just now but basically guys the lang chain api lang chain is like a python api okay it's like python modules and it provides us a lot of modules which are actually large language model uh, classes large language model objects you can create with those uh, modules and you don't have to worry how that model is handling the question you don't have to worry how it is understanding the context you do not have to worry at all you just create the object of that particular class and do you use it you feed it your question and you get your answer 
that is how it's going to get uh, implemented which i i will just show you in the ne in the next minute okay and the next uh, main value prop of lang chain is of the shelf chain of the shelf chain is the same thing guys that lang chain allow us to use a lot of different things in the environment it is allowing us to use our rest apis our sql queries it is allowing us to interact with the environment to achieve higher level task uh just by taking the keywords or the key context from the large language model okay now i think we have done a lot of theory and it's time to actually see whatever i have just said can we accomplish this or not right so the first thing first guys the first thing first is that you have to install langchain now you might ask how can i install it because it's a python module right so you don't really um need to install it uh, like that you can just use pip install langchain and pip install openai okay so once you do that then you will be ready to use these apis okay so after the installation is done you need to set up a environment variable okay you can see that this requirement is already satisfied with me that's why it is uh, so quick but for you it might take some time Uh, but once all the libraries are installed, then you need to import the operating system OS and then set up the OS environment as an open A open API key, open AI API key. Uh, so basically, uh, what is an open AI API key? So guys, Langchain is a framework that is also developed by open AI uh, open AI team, open AI company. And if you want to use this framework, if you want to use the models, the large language models of this framework, you need to have this API key. Now, how you can get this API key? Pretty straightforward. You just uh, sign up for an account in platform. dot openai. dot com. You can see that I have already signed up. Once you do it, you just click on your uh, avatar here, and then you click on View API Keys. Now you can see that few API keys are already created here. If you have not created any API key, you just click on Create New Secret Key. Now, what's going to happen here, guys? That once you create your secret key, it will be free for you uh, for a certain period of time and only up to a worth of five dollars, right? Now, after that, five dollars usage is completed or your time is completed, you will get something like this that it is expired, right? So then, what you need to do? You need to go to billing and you need to set up a paid account. Once you set up a paid account, then you will be charged. as per your usage and the charges is not that much maximum you might get charged 5 dollars per month uh, i don't think more than that but what's going to happen guys is that uh, now once you set up your billing you will you can continue to use your open api key even though it's uh, you know even though the free one is expired okay now once your environment variable is set guys now we are ready to use our open uh, open ai Uh, models, the large language models. Okay, now I'm going to open a different Kaggle notebook here, guys, because I can't share my Open API, a Open AI API key with you. So let's uh, start from the second, the next step in which we are actually importing the model. So I did mention to you guys that Lamb Chain provides us a set of components. It is providing us a lot of components, which help us to interact with these large language models and these components are providing you complete abstraction so this open ai is basically a machine learning model that it provides it to you and that's large language model that you can use to query and you don't know what what is the implementation of this you don't want to know what is the implementation of this you can just import it and you can just use it directly now let's see how we can use it right so just create an llm object and then you pass a parameter to it temperature okay now this temperature is the value of the randomness of the model so let's say if i want to ask my model most random questions like write a story or give me uh, some name suggestions or something like that right then you can increase the temperature of the uh, of the model it is going to just give you more random answers right If you want it to be very specific, you can decrease the temperature. Let's say this model is very random, right? This is very random, and uh, let's say my uh, my question is, 
what would be a good company name for a company that makes colorful socks okay that is like a very basic question now all i have to do is just pass this text so you can see that the variable name is uh, is text here all i have to do is just pass this text variable inside my llm model and then you will see that it's going to give me a response so happy soul socks so this is basically a very random response that it is giving to me and you can obviously you know rerun the code rerun the code again and it's going to give you a even different random answer right uh, if you don't want your uh, large language to model to be very random let's say you just completely want definitive answers for example something like uh, this right like translate the good morning to uh, french uh, and then if you just want like very definitive answer because there is there is not going to be many ways you can say uh, you know good morning in french there is there is almost just one way bonjour right so uh, these way you can actually tweak the parameters of this open a open ai model and give it like multiple types of different questions and there you go guys it is so simple with just three lines of code we have now imported a model we have provided it a text and not just that we are getting our definitive answers also and we are getting our random answers also and if you remember this is what we were doing with chat gpt this is what we were doing right this is uh, how we were uh, asking the questions and we were getting the answers so uh, there you go guys this, this is the way uh, you can actually use langchain framework to create a your you know your own model like uh, uh, like chat gpt now you may ask the question that what about the other things right because i was saying to you that you can actually query uh, you know rest apis you can query uh, sql apis so yes guys you can do all those things but we are going to learn all those things step by step we can't just go directly into the main things guys we are going to learn about langchain framework step by step through a series of videos that i'm planning planning to uh, create in the you know next few days but thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope this video actually was informative for you and it introduced you to the world of langchain which definitely is going to be the future uh, so thank you so much for watching guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such interesting videos and there are going to be more i promise you guys uh, so uh, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon if you have any question comment suggestion for me please do write down in the comment section below i would be happy to read them and um, If you like this video then please do hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then take care and bye bye.